in Middle Swan at the Gombok Gallery to look at Robert Juniper's work in a celebration exhibition, which is celebrating this iconic West Australian who has work around the world and is an important artist for Australia and Western Australia. This is not an original quote from me, but, but he taught us to see the Australian landscape. I think there are um, very few artists who, of his generation who have painted the landscape as it, as it is and, and been able to depict its real beauty rather than sort of superimpose something on it that, it that wasn't really there. He taught us to see and to enjoy the slightly scruffy, as he used to call it, Australian landscape. I would describe his art as beautiful and highly eclectic. I, I would describe him as an artistic genius. I would say that because I'm his daughter, but I'm also one of his greatest fans and I'm not alone in saying that. He was an artistic genius. It's a tribute exhibition, a celebration of his work. And it's the first time all of his prints have been seen together in one place and a fairly significant collection of his paintings too. A sufficient time has passed now since, um, since he left the place. It got to the stage where we sort of really needed to do it, celebrate his work and his life. They've been in storage or they were in his old gallery up in Darlington. And a lot of these prints weren't framed, so They've been in file drawers and wrapped up in sort of acid-free paper. Sorting through them and finding suitable framing for them, that sort of thing, it's been a bit of an epic sort of thing to do, but a good celebration, as I say. Once you start looking at the work as a whole, in a, in a collective sense, it, it really speaks volumes about his prolific nature of his work and the many styles that he's embraced and also the breadth of his artistic vision, you could say. Obviously this is a, a large gallery and it had to be presented at a large gallery because there's a huge amount of work here, I think 91 individual works. Apart from the one-off originals, he got a lot of limited edition prints which are, which are collectible. We are the owners of his intellectual property, so that is heritage from that point of view. And my sister and I are both professional artists, so that sort of goes on through the generation. And my brother and my older sister have helped to sort of collate all of this stuff. Quite a huge undertaking. And this is just two-dimensional work. There's, there, you know, He made many sculptures too, but that's a whole other story. Yeah. Robert Juniper was such a wonderful... West Australian artist and landscape arc, artist of the Australian and West Australian landscape in particular and I think it's wonderful that so many of his works have been brought together in the one exhibition so that uh, so many people can come and see this really important retrospective of his work. I've known Bob since I was 18 and uh, we had a, a, a long and continuous friendship. We talked about many things, he helped me in many ways. We collaborated on a few jobs. Bob was a continually inventive person. He was a very elegant speaker and, and an elegant writer. You know, I really enjoy working with Bob because I've learned a lot from him um, and he just simply appreciated my skills that I've learned from other, doing other, my own work, you know, because there was always a juggle between um, doing some work for Bob because there was a sort of a, a bit of a financial gain in it for me where when I make work on my own sculpture that you only get the reward if you sell it so um, so we, we were juggling all the time and uh, as I said working with Bob was an absolute pleasure. Yeah I think he'd be really proud I think he would enjoy looking through this work because it really is a breadth of his career so there are quite, some quite early works here through all his periods. It's fascinating, I, I'm still fascinated by it as well. And the prints are just amazing. When you see a, a range of work like what we have on the walls here today, you can really see that clearly. I think he'd be proud of himself, and rightly so. Probably a, a man who has a great love for the bush and the outback and where we live, sense of place. This is the first time I've seen it hung, so it's great. It's, yeah, it's really beautiful to see it all up and displayed where it should be, because yeah. So, and, and, and that's what's really lovely, I think, is seeing such a breadth of his work displayed all together. I guess Dad sort of instilled a love of nature in all of us because we did spend a lot of time in the bush and he had a great love for the West Australian landscape, as you can see in his work, and that, sort of, that was sort of passed down to all of us kids, I guess. Yeah. I do fly and fly out, and flying over, the, you know, flying over the Midwest and that sort of thing is, definitely looks like Dad's paintings. He's a great father. Um, very entertaining, very sort of happy, happy bloke. I mean, you know, God, he loved his life. He was doing something that he re really loved doing. But, but yeah, very happy sort of man. So, you know, you can't ask for more than that in life, I suppose. I'll come and see it while it's here. It's on for a month. It's very eclectic. And particularly the drawings are very rare. They haven't been seen by very many people. Aquatints, serigraph prints. So there's a great range of things here to see. I'm Angela Albuquerque for Undercurrent.